What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where a very respected carandriver.com has put Alfa Romeo on the list as the 15 most beautiful cars on sale for 2020. Now, looks are always subjective, but we know that Italian design is immaculate. Everything from Alfa Romeo and Lamborghini, Ferrari, Maserati, all of the great Italian brands have such a great looking lineup of vehicles. Well, Alfa Romeo was lucky enough to be put on that top 15 cars out of all car manufacturers and models on 2020's lineup. And with that said, I wanted to show you guys what Car and Driver has to say about the Alfa Romeo Giulia and some of the other cars that are on this iconic list. Now on their main page, they had a paragraph under the gallery where you could view these 15 cars and Car and Driver stated that there are as many different styles in the automotive world as there are types of vehicles. These schools of stylistic thought transcend body, style, and segment. Menacing describes a Lamborghini Aventador and a Rolls Royce might be stately, but so is a Range Rover. But no matter the size or style of the vehicle or the guiding principle in its design, there are those special examples that combine proportions, surface treatment, and detailing to an unusually special degree. These are what we consider to be the 15 most beautiful cars for sale today. If you don't agree, well, that's the beauty of subjectivity. And like I said, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, it's subjective, so not everybody is going to agree with the list or agree what defines beauty. But what Car and Driver had to say about the Alfa Romeo Giulia is, Alfa Romeo's pointy shield shaped grille may not be for everyone, but the Giulia wears it well and the rest of the car is truly gorgeous. This sports sedan is perfectly proportioned with a long hood and a cabin set back toward the rear wheels and the body surfacing and the details are exquisite. And every Julia shares the same good looks. Alfa Romeo doesn't muck up the base model or reserve the choices flourishes from the range topping high performance Julia Quadrifoglio. Now we think the base model Julia's tamer front and rear bumpers, lack of side vents and additional chrome trim actually add to the design appeal. So pretty much what they're saying is this is beautiful across the line, obviously the Quadrifoglio being the most radical, but they actually like the 2.0 Julia's character a little bit more than they like the Julia Quadrifoglio, which is, you know, a new opinion for me. I don't think I've heard that one before, but I agree and I've told you guys before many and many of times that Alfa Romeo makes some of the most beautiful cars in the world. They have some of the most special paints and the Julia Quadrifoglio is just such a sexy vehicle. I would love to see more range topping stylistic designs from Alfa Romeo as we know that the Tonali is coming as we just saw the GTA and a GTAM and we you know hope to see a GTV or 8C come back in a lineup but Alfa Romeo has been doing this for years and this is one of those things to where hey the credibility needs to be there they need to remind everybody how special these cars really are now some of the cars that are on that list just to show you how special this is they have an Audi RS6 a Vine RS7 they have an Aston Martin DBS Superleggera all right they have a BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe they have a Bugatti Chiron all right, a Ford GT, the newest Ford GT. They have an Infiniti Q60, all right, a Lexus LC, a Mazda 3, all right, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class Coupe, a Polestar 1, all right, a Porsche 911-992, all right, a Porsche Taycan, and a Volkswagen Arteon with a Volvo V60. Now, these aren't in any specific order, but just to say, they started off with the Alfa Romeo Giulia first in the list. So, hey, take it as you will. But I'll drop the link down below for the article so you guys can check it out for yourself, see what they said about the other vehicles, because you may own one or may think that that car doesn't belong on the list. Now, that brings me to my next point. What do you guys think? Does the Alfa Romeo belong on this list of the top 15 cars or would you put it in your top 20 or your top 25 or your top 100 cars? Does it deserve to make it on this list for the beautiful cars on sale for 2020? 15, that is a high praise. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, with that said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on the most beautiful cars 
on sale for 2020. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, so you guys can click that and you can donate a dollar or two to the channel, whichever you like. You could also check out the Patreon subscription in case you guys want to be Patreons, or you can check out the Ron's Rise merch where you get a Ron's Rise t-shirt, you can get hoodies, you get stickers, everything like that. You can also check out the Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram where I'm posting Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Ferrari content that doesn't always make it to the channel. And make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you get these videos straight to your inbox as soon as they come out. Guys, with that said, you be blessed. Have a great day. All right, make sure you're staying inside, washing your hands, and being safe. And we will talk to you guys in the next Rise Rise video. Peace.